In today's world, identity theft is a more likely occurrence than home burglary or car theft. As a veteran, you hold more sensitive information than an average citizen. Today I want to go over some of the basics of the common scams out there. First, the acronym lesson of the day, PII, Personal Identifiable Information. This is things like credit cards, your social security number, your DD-214, you still know where that is, right? Now, on to the scams. There's direct deposit payment redirection, where a bad actor uses PII to unlawfully access and gain control of veterans and beneficiaries' accounts. Phishing, no, 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 not that kind, is a fraudulent practice where an imposter creates a fake online persona to deceive veterans and their beneficiaries into providing PII. Email, wire, and phone scams are the classics. Fraudsters may pose as someone you trust or represent an organization or contest. It's Grandma Martha and I need money in the form of iTunes gift cards. You want a new iPhone. There's hot singles in your area. All lies. Sorry to the real Grandma Marthas out there just trying to buy some more oldies on iTunes though. Spoofing is where a caller disguises the information shown on caller ID. Yes, they can actually do that. So stay alert. Forgery is where someone may try to produce a fake copy of a document, signature, banknote, or even a work of art they're trying to sell. I mean, who hasn't been hustled by a toddler passing out fake Jackson Pollock paintings? I still hung mine up on the fridge. Then, there's malware. Now this is one of the top cyber schemes used by bad actors. They find a way to install malicious software to hold your computer or device hostage until you agree to pay a ransom. If a veteran believes their identity has been stolen, they should contact the FTC by visiting reportfraud.ftc.gov or email identitytheft at va.gov. All right, that's your bottom line up front. I'll catch you next time here on The Bluff.